You just move from one primary residence to another primary residence and rent out the old one. So the old one, you don't have to claim it as an investment property or anything? Once it becomes an investment property and it's rented, it's an investment property and you have to file it as an investment property on your taxes. But the benefit is that you got locked in to that interest rate when it was your primary because that interest rate doesn't change. The down payment that you put down doesn't change. It's, those are already set and done. Real estate, you have to have some money to be an investor. I think a lot of the strategies that people put online or on YouTube about trying to invest in real estate without having any money or getting in and doing all these deals with no money. Most of it's a fallacy and those guys are making most of their money from doing YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. And if you can find another lender to lend you money on another house, you tell them, I'm moving out and I'm moving into the next house. The reason why you move into the next house is because when you're an owner occupant, you get a better interest rate. You can put less money down as opposed to being an investor. You have to put more money down and you get a higher interest rate. That's the best strategy.